Brother Shabaka. What's yes, the word? Sir. Chilling oh. like a villain. I want to welcome the family to another ride along with Brother DMG, aka Brother Pianki. I got Brother Shabaka joining me. And before you say anything, cuz I am recording. So I got a few questions for you. We're gonna keep it short. I know you uh, you know, you at the nine to five. So here's my first question. You consider yourself an atheist, would that be correct? Um, I would say people who would consider me an atheist, you know, I consider myself an African over here in, uh, as far as a belief system, you know, I don't, uh, I don't adhere to a belief system you know, in a religious sort. But uh, what, what, what can we define as atheism that me and you can agree upon? Uh, someone who believes there is not sufficient evidence for to believe in the existence of a god or a deity, uh, et cetera. Well, I, I would say I would probably substitute someone that believes there is no sufficient evidence to. Um, I have not yet run across evidence to support the belief in a God. Okay, okay. And, now the, and the reason I said believe is, so what would you say to the evidence? Because I'm sure theists have presented you with evidence, right? <clears throat> um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, the evidence that they have presented is, you know, nothing that's, that's, it's always something that's outside of our reality with the evidence that they try to present. You know what I'm saying? Or, okay. or, or they had to go to the Bible, you know, you know, or, or any other book, some, some look, some like that, a Bible or, or something that supports their belief. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, okay. And, and with, with, with that being said, uh, let me ask you this. Do you, would you say you know there's no God or would you say you believe there's no God? That's a good question. I would say um, I have not been presented or I have not face-to-face uh, -face or had any dealings with any God. Um, like when you say a God, which, which particular God? Because it's a lot of, lot of God beliefs. Any any Which any God are you? any any God? It could be Buddha, Krishna. It could it could be it's no no specific deity, but 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 you didn't really answer the question. I'm saying, would you say you know there's no God for a fact, or would you say you believe there's no God for a fact? Well. I don't think you can go either way for a fact in either one of those. Okay. Um, there's no way. It's it's a it's, to me it's unfalsifiable. Just to me, it's a claim that is being made that you can't you can't falsify. So to me, if it's an argument out there that you can't falsify, there's no reason for me to believe that. The argument presented is true. And there's, there's no reason for me to believe it. Okay. Okay. 
And, and and the reason I ask you that, and and I, I that's a good answer. Uh, the reason I ask you that is this: I've been noticing that on both sides of the aisle, people feel that they know for sure that either either they feel they know a God exists or they feel they know a God doesn't exist. And I call bullshit on both sides. And, and, and here's what I mean. I agree. So I'll give you, I'll give you two prime examples of people we, we're familiar with. Our brother outside the queue, whenever somebody mentions that they have a religious belief or spiritual faith or whatever, my brother gets moist and and wet like a hormonal teenage girl and jumps all over it. Like, for example, Neo, Neo X said that she wasn't an atheist and her religion was spirituality. My man hit the link and Neo X had to leave before before he could question her. And he was like, yeah, I just came on because I wanted to challenge Neo X on her God. And I'm like, well, why? Because that's that's her thing. Mm -hmm. So, but 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 here's the thing: he he has such a he he like I say he like a, a hormonal teenager, like a dog in heat for that shit. So, on the reverse end, you have people who again we're familiar with, like uh, our brother Jerome Green, who says he knows God exists. For sure, because he has had a personal uh, experience with. Him. He don't. He don't elaborate. Peace to the Ravens fan, by the way. Peace, Peace to the brother Jerome, the Ravens fan. Shout out to the Ravens fan, even though they 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 tripping with their quarterback. But <laughs> but uh, he says he's had a personal relationship. He don't elaborate. I mean, a personal experience. He don't elaborate, but he said he had one. Now, again, I'm not here to tell anybody not to believe. I'm only here to tell you why I don't believe and why I feel it's not it's it's not the whatever belief is not the belief for me on a personal level. But if you know if Christianity, Islam, or whatever uh, makes you a better person. And, and makes you uh, more more uh, functional, and, and gives you the ability to to help push our people forward in power. More power Some to kind of purpose or whatever. Yeah. So, so that that being said, though, I'm just curious as to how these brothers know with 100 percent certainty. That these things, like Jerome believes in the flood narrative in the Bible. So does my brother Najisi. They believe that these things occurred in history. And, you know, they'll, they'll point to fish being found on mountains. But, I mean, I'm not saying that the flood narrative occurred. I'm saying that once upon a time, Everything was underwater, but See, that's, there wasn't no. That's, that's an example, cuz not to cut you off. Pardon me for I'm I'm easy out. Ah, yes, yeah, they believe it before the evidence was presented. They believe right. it, then they go look for the evidence to support their belief. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you're gonna believe something, at least get the evidence first. And then you can work on that. But for nah, you to but, just off, off, off the rip that believe something. See, we dealing we dealing with different kinds of believers, though. We not dealing with the mama told me so, daddy told me so, pastor told me so, believers no more. 
We dealing with but the league. They started that way, cuz they started off with that. that. These, these these brothers actually doing doing research of their own, and you know putting 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 out information with regards to their findings themselves. So I don't I don't dismiss their notions based on a lack of research. But they I'm believed just, it first I'm, before they researched it. Is my thing. But but they I don't believed know, it first because I can only go off what they say. Like Jacobus will tell you, you know, the brother nobody salutes a little bro. He'll tell you He's nobody. And he but he didn't start believing until after he got evidence. Mm. So <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm not gonna call him a liar. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and, and so, with that being said, though, I'm just it's curious what gives what gives an atheist the confidence to say there is no God. And I know what I know what it is for a Christian. You know, faith. Etc. Et, et, et you know, uh, and all, all of these different different things. You know, like like you know, you know, your sister, my wife. Uh, everything she didn't accomplish, even though she accomplished it, she 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 say she couldn't have did it without God. Um. So I I I, I understand the Christian. Uh, point of view. Was that a question? What gives the atheist the confidence? Yeah, what, what gives the atheist confidence that there is no God? Well, so I would say uh, where they would they would challenge uh, a believer of, of whatever religion. It don't got to be Christian. It don't got to be Islam or any other Abrahamic faith. Just, it's just like the brother said uh, spirituality is pseudo. And my thing was pseudo to who? Because yeah, I don't understand may, that one. it may be pseudo to you, but it wouldn't be pseudo to the person that's practicing. So, but what give, I, I just want to know what gives you, if if you fit that that particular bill or, or any other atheist, the confidence to say there is no there is no God. Well, I would say, first of all, I don't think atheism uh, makes the proclamation that there is no God. My my definition that I that I go by when it comes to atheism is the lack of belief or uh, the lack of belief in a God or a God. That means people have presented their Best cases that the, whatever God that they believe in, and I don't believe it. I'm not saying that that God doesn't exist because there ain't no way to prove that this God exists or doesn't exist. You see what I'm saying? Because in my opinion, it's, it's, it's in people's imagination what they proclamate what a God is. Now, for someone to, to definitively say that there is no God, has nothing to do with atheism. It could be atheists that will proclamate that it could be a God, and it could be atheists that say there is no God. You see what I'm saying? It could be theists out there, in my opinion, that, that said it could be a God, and then it's theists that, that out there that say it's definitely a God. You see what I'm saying? But that doesn't mean that they go by the same, uh, you know, same thing or whatever. Atheism, in, in my view, is the lack of belief in a God of God. It doesn't say it, there is no God. Atheism does not say there is no God. So, but, but wouldn't, wouldn't your lack of belief indicate that that God didn't exist? Because if the God existed, you believe, right? 
That's why that's why I say God or God. I mean, if you present me with a God, right, that you believe in, and once I once I hear you out or whatever, and then I come to the determination that I don't believe that God exists. You see what I'm saying? But I'm not saying that no God doesn't exist. Right. That's what I mean. So so my point being that it's still it's still saying that a a God, whatever that God is, doesn't exist. According according to the evidence that has been presented to me, I right. don't like you said. I don't believe that that God so, exists. So if I threw out Krishna or Buddha or uh, well, Buddha with the guy, but if I threw out Krishna or Heru or uh, Thor or Zeus or Shango, right. would, would you say, but, but just just name recognition, would you say any of those guys exist? Um, in, in, in our reality that we live in? Yeah. I, w- I would say if any of those gods exist, then we would have been encountered with those gods in our no, no, reality. No, no. I'm, I'm just asking, not, not necessarily for an explanation as to why you don't believe, just do you believe or not? No, not, not with the uh, current evidence. No, I don't. Oh, okay, okay. And, well, and, and what about uh, the, uh, the, the, the turtle god of the Lakota Indian people. I don't even know anything about that God. Okay. You know, but you know, if they if they can't bring that God into this reality where it can interact inside with me and you, because me and you are in this reality, and we have to abide by the principles and the things of this reality. And for you to tell me that it is a being that does not have to go by the principles of this reality, maybe because they feel that they're being created this reality and all of that, but they don't have to go by this reality. My question would be, how can you prove that? And if you cannot prove that, then what, what reason would you have to believe that it is true? Yeah, I, and 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 and, and I, I'm I'm with you. I'm I'm with you on that. And and, and and listen. So so let me ask you this, girl. If I told you, if it wasn't for the transatlantic slave trade, as deplorable, as evil, as unjust, as barbaric, as sadistic, as vile an event as that was. And more adjectives. You and I wouldn't be here. Would you agree at this? Would we be here? Right. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that event. Um, I would. I would say by uh, the money, money quarterback. I would say yeah, because it's already, you know, the things that the things that led up to the point where we at would have had to happen for us to be here. So yeah. yeah the, the, the conditions for our parents and their parents, great grandparents, all of those conditions were made possible because of the events of the transatlantic slave trade. It ain't no getting around, right? And so no, I had somebody tell me that if we, if Africans would have been left to their own devices, right? Uh, we would, our parents, like that, that I was basically told I would still exist. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out whether or not this individual who is very Afrocentric in, in they, uh, in they style of dress, and in they uh, in the in the way they present themselves, uh, even in a spiritual uh, tradition, uh, 
but I'm thinking maybe perhaps they don't know African history because you muted, huh? Your mic muted. Unmute your unmute your mic, sir. There it is. Still had Africans enslaved, and I'm not saying that like 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 some of our Christian brothers do as a as some kind of indictment. I'm saying that these different cultures within Africa, these different people groups, warred over resources, warred over territory, and if me and your tribe fought Brother Jerome and Brother Trust tribe and we won, Brother Trust and Brother Jerome became prisoners of war and thus became slaves. So when the European presented us with certain goods. That was the way of the world. Be, yeah, be it guns, gunpowder, uh, sugar, dye, things of this nature. Yeah, y'all can right. take choice. And Jerome, because Trust and Jerome is not from the Foster tribe. You see what exactly. I'm saying? We weren't selling no nobody that. from the Foster tribe. We were selling people from the Trust and Jerome tribe. And so, because people right. talk about Africa like Africans was betraying each other, and and and, and it was just this 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 mass betrayal and. You know, so we, we need to erase that notion right right out right out the gate. But again, this, this individual was saying I would still exist. Despite the slave trade not occurring. And I'm trying to figure out how 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 they could come to that conclusion. And my thing was this, how would my parents meet? How would they parents exactly. meet? How, how would exactly. how, how their great grandparents meet? Cause a lot of us is mixed with European. So that it, European exactly. wouldn't have never got a chance to make bond into what we are. You know what I'm saying? It, exactly. And so, she was the, the the individual took offense. Like I can't believe you saying uh, we wouldn't exist if it wasn't for that. And I'm like, it's just it's just facts. And so when I when I asked her how she thought I would still exist, she was like, you would your parents probably wouldn't be your parents, but you would exist. I was like, so if my parents ain't my parents, how do I exist? That's spooky, right? <laughs> And, and, and it got real spooky. And so she said, well, uh, we believe in, 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 in nature and, and so, or, or, or nature. And so we would, we would still exist. Nature would, would, would make it so you still exist. And I was like, huh? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm completely confused by that. So I, 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 I just need you to, to, to help me out cause, because I'm lost when it comes to that. So nature goes against itself because nature, nature, my parents coming together in nature is the reason I exist, right? If, mm -hmm. if look and Orlean don't get together in late 1995, 1975, I'm not born in October of 76, right? That's nature taking, taking its course. So Here. nature is then going to go against itself and the two people that came together in order for me to exist now would not have to come together in order for me to exist. No, it, makes, it makes no kind of sense. That makes no kind of sense.
And, and, and this is why I say we are, we on, on all sides of this thing, we are messed up. Whether it's the, the atheist, yeah. whether it's the, the, the spiritualist, whether it's the Christian or the Hebrew Israelite, Hebrew Israelites actually believe that they are the ancient, the descendants of the ancient Israelites to which we have no concrete proof that these people in this Bible actually existed. We don't have concrete proof, but exactly because they grew up reading about these people. They didn't read about Shaka Zulu, Mansa Musa, Imhotep, Queen Nzinga, and other African figures. They grew up reading about Adam. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David. Joseph, Moses, Samson, David, right. et cetera. And so when that hustler on the corner hit them with that lingo, what's your nationality? You the people of this book, they eat it up because now it's like, yeah. no, that's me. And so who, who don't want to be the super friend? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Who? Who wouldn't want to be uh, God's chosen people, right? So, right. but but That's then, the way you believe in God. So 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 then you get this doctrine of Constantine, a Roman emperor, right? That that that's what bugged me out about it so much, man. A Roman emperor, Constantine, was black because he had something to do with the Bible. Uh, yeah. Then you got. King James, King James, because he had some, he, he created a Bible. So King James was black. They denied and, his homosexuality. That's what I was about to say. And, and you accept him, and then you want to make him black, but you don't accept his lifestyle he was living at that time. Exactly. And, and out, outright denied, because. And, and, and so. Denied. It's, it's like. God could have used him in, in spite of his homosexuality. That's Facts. all I had to say. It would have been over. <laughs> and so, it, it, but then it's to the point, too, where Native Indians are our brothers and sisters, but them Africans is some dirty, stinking Africans. And look, and look, when I bring up the fact that the Native Indians, the so called, the five so called civilized tribes, had our people in slavery. Well, they didn't mistreat us like the European did. What? Owning people as, pro as for property is wrong either way it go. Whether we did it as Africans or whether uh, 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 Native uh, Indians did it. It's wrong. It's wrong. It, uh, it's wrong. It's wrong. And, and, and so, and, and that's what I'm saying, man. We go through hoops. The individual who was trying to say I would still exist if the slave trade didn't happen was jumping through imaginary spiritual hoops because she think Africa would have been Wakanda had the <laughs> European not taken our ancestors in slavery, but she forget the wars that was going on between Africans. So how, yeah. how would I exist? So she think it's a, it's a DMG floating out there in the ether waiting to come into some kind of baby body and be born to anybody. Right. So the DNA that make me up, can, I, I can just spiritually go <clears throat> into anybody. Because remember, she's, they, they said my parents may not be my parents, but I would still be me. This There's is where, no way this is, that sounds logical in any kind of way. This is where belief goes wrong. And it makes you sound and, and, and here's the thing. Just like Cap laughs at me about DNA, which he don't understand, this individual was laughing at me about saying I would still exist if my parents didn't come together and conceive me, laughing like what I was saying was foolish. And I'm, I'm sitting here like, 
how the hell would I exist if my parents don't like what? I, and, and and when man don't nothing ain't nothing. <laughs> what makes you you? you Cause what's that? What what makes you you? What makes me me? If not the two people that made me, they the four people that made them. And the eight people that make, like, what? <sighs> and the 16 and the 32 and the 64, and they just keep going up. <laughs> Come on. And so, and, and not, nothing is more insulting than when somebody who you know is talking out the side of their neck laughs at you like you talking out the side of your neck. So I got Good. a person who's telling me, yeah. I would when we this if my parents didn't come together and make me laughing at me because I'm saying I wouldn't exist if that didn't happen. And think about this. Remember when we when you know when we first was was new and and and, and you know you was you was a little more you was out before me. But when I did come out, we came out or whatever. Remember how it was? I thought you was crazy. People thought we was crazy. Why did they think we was crazy? Because we didn't believe a man came back from the dead. We didn't believe a man walked on water. We didn't believe a man fed over 10,000 people with two uh, loaves of bread and two fish, or five loaves or whatever. They still ain't going to feed uh, over 10,000 people. And when you didn't believe that, we was the one that was weird old. We was the we was the one they laughed at. Still is That's crazy. That's Still is. Mind. Yeah, we, hey, cuz we crazy. We, we crazy. crazy. And, and, and we we crazy because we have a hard time believing that again a man rose from the dead, uh, walked on water. Flew up to heaven. That 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 a man that that three individual beings or or one being. Like we we like cause I ain't I ain't good I ain't super good at math. You know I was never good at math. You was way better. I can count money though, but you was way better at math than me. I'm still I'm still trying to figure out how three make one. I'm still I'm still trying to figure out how Friday to Sunday is three days. I still I, I still can't figure that out. I know Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are three different days, but Friday to Sunday, that's Sunday is two days after Friday. But <laughs> I, 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 man. Sounds, like, sounds like you were not the only one that wasn't good at mail. I, I, so, but again, we crazy, and, and that's what I mean. Yeah, it's, I mean it's on. How did, how did they over, you know, it's like 5,000 men, right? Was fed by the multitude, you know, Jesus fed 5,000 men. That's what it said, right? But it was, it, it, come on, it was only men. It was only 5,000 men there. So it, these men got women. They got kids. You see what I'm saying? They, they wasn't going to eat. How does the fish multiply? Can, can anybody explain to me? We just skip past it. Well, Jesus fed them. Boom. Thousand people, you know, what like what did he do? Was he rationing out little shivets of fish, giving it out to everybody? Like, how did how did, did the people eat the fish raw? Did, they, did the fish was the fish cooked? You see what yeah, I'm saying? Did, did, the, did the fish just come out when he made it, when they multiplied, it was warm already? It was already warm. Because they was the hungry. Was cut off. That they they was you know, hungry. So so if they was hungry, they was trying to eat right then. 
So just multiplying some raw fish wasn't gonna do nothing. Now you oh, cooking you, it, man. You know, you know, I choked on on I can't remember if it was catfish or buffalo when I was little, but you know, our uncle literally stuck his his damn hand in my mouth and 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 got me right. Cause I'm choking and I ain't I don't eat fish with bone in it. Like ain't done it since then, right? But you like fish. Yeah, and so you you done probably gutted the fish and, and got it prepared and everything, right? Or seen it done. You know, it ain't it ain't like no, you just take a fish and start eating it like it's a burger. Exactly. So, so if they was hungry and they did, did they get the fish and go home? Did they eat and, and sit there and watch him talk? Because wouldn't this, wouldn't this at the same time as the Sermon on the Mount or was this a different occasion? I think it was the same time, the same time if I'm mistaken. I don't know. I, I don't I, know. I have to double check. I, don't know either, so, I have to double check that too. Oh, so, but you want to talk about so, Sermon on the Mount? Now, uh, have you have you ever been in the gym, in the gymnasium full of people? Yeah. Right? Like, a, like a concert or something like that, right? And, you know, maybe maybe 100 people, 80 people, 70, you know, whatever. It's a nice amount of people in there, right? If you're in the back and there's no microphone, right? And somebody is up there speaking. What you gonna be like? What? Hey man, you heard what they saying? Huh? What they saying, cuz? Man, let, man, let's scoot up and look up. You see what I'm saying? On the Sermon on the Mount, did he have a bull horn? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. Was it somebody down there writing it down, what he's saying? Because you got in the Bible, right? Red letter or whatever, right? And it's supposed to be what Jesus actually said verbatim. People will have you believe that this is the verbatim actual things that Jesus that's said. They, that's what they that's what they act, they, that's what they would have you believe. Who was recording? Did they have a tape recorder? Did, what, did somebody, what's what, that, what, short yeah. term, did somebody yeah. do that? What, what like they what? call the person in court that, that writes down all of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. short did term, they hold, I don't know. What they, yeah. Did they have one of those? Like, and then most of the people couldn't, couldn't read and write. They didn't have like a class that you go to and learn, like for everybody. This is the majority of the people that couldn't read and write. But this this is why this is why remember we always say everybody be like Jesus existed. And and I always be like, so because yeah. you saying you saying that a, 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 a guy named Jesus existed is nothing to me. That Just means absolutely nothing. Show me that that same guy rose from the dead. Sh show me that that same guy was, he, he came out of that grave and he ascended to him. Like show, show me that you know that with 100% proof. Like I, I get that scholars agree that, that it was a man named Jesus, et cetera. But it ain't the Jesus from the Bible because the stuff from the Bible is impossible. It's impossible. impossible. And, and, and then, like when you when you ask certain stuff, like okay, when we got the Walking Dead that got up out their grave and walked into the city, why didn't nobody else write about that? But then I hear that a lot of a lot of things got destroyed in 70 AD. But wouldn't 70 AD, huh? yeah, no, no, but but didn't 70 AD take some time? It was some time between when these things happened in 70 AD. And we still don't, it, it, ain't, it ain't wrote about nowhere. 
But, so but only, you, only one person would have wrote about it? You know what I'm saying? Like, and not only that, but, but my point being, like, so whoever wrote about it and, and it was destroyed, because that's what I heard, all of these things, a lot of stuff got destroyed during 70 AD. So all the writings about these dead people walking into the city were destroyed at once and they, they never were disseminated nowhere else. So they That's wrote about thing. it. They wrote about it and didn't share it with nobody. Only one they person knows. Right there. I, I, I just, I find that hard to believe that dead people came up out their grave and nobody wrote about it. And if they did, they only kept it to themselves all the way up in the 70 AD till it was till they till they got destroyed, till the writings got destroyed. Right. And and the only time it was written about was when it came up in the biblical text. Come on. You had this this, this huge this huge earthquake that that and, and the sky got so black and things of that nature. And now I be having people like sending me stuff that 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 say in this year, uh, the sky got black during this time. And that's probably the day, probably now, the day Jesus got crucified. Probably. <laughs> hey, I, can't, I can't make this up, man. And so I'm not making fun of nobody. It's just the length the of the lengths that they jump through. Yeah. Believe it. We all go through these hoops, just like the individual went through all these hoops to say, even though my parents may not have met in Africa, I would somehow still exist and be born to other people because DMG is floating out there in the ether waiting to land in some baby to be born to anybody. The hoops that people got to jump through for what they believe, because she believes or he believes, this individual believes and in turn, and so my soul is just in the quote unquote ancestral realm waiting to be reborn. I Like you ain't never been to no ancestral realm. <laughs> and, 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 this, and this the thing, like people talk about an ancestral realm. And so then when I say, so is it white people in the ancestral realm? I don't care about white people. That's not, I didn't ask if you cared about white people. I'm asking if it's an ancestral realm, is it only black people there? So, th so everything hmm. is like Wakanda now. Everything is Wakanda now. So only, only black people is in this ancestral realm that, that you're talking about. And so ain't no, ain't no Asian people, ain't no Puerto Rican people, Ain't no Chinese people. It, so everybody got their own ancestry around or, or only black people have an afterlife and everybody else just stay dead. How, how do this work? Again, we jump through hoops for what we choose to believe. We jump through hoops. Like I done had dudes tell me cause that the reason they against homosexuality is because in Kemet, it was the man, woman, and child, and homosexuality is out of balance. And that, and there was no homosexuality, not only in Kemet, but it, it was no homosexuality in Africa, period. <laughs> Till the European. Come on, man. Like now, not not now we sound like we. We we just making stuff up because it been gay up people. As we go along. It been gay people everywhere since time immemorial. But we we want to make ourselves special. We ain't do the gay stuff. <laughs> what? So 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 let me get this straight. As big as Africa is, right? With no dudes looking at dudes and with no chicks looking at chicks. Fine as chicks is, with no, with no chicks like, damn, sis. With no, with no chicks looking at chicks and with no dudes looking at dudes. 
in uh, on the whole continent of Africa before the right. European got there? My thing is, they try to, you know, just like me and Kyle, an atheist, or just just when you don't believe what somebody else believes or whatever, you know, you get ostracized. It's it's such a a bad stigma that comes along with the word atheist. It's such a bad stigma that comes with homosexuality. You know what I'm saying? That people that are in those positions, they be scared to so-called come out the closet because people are so, so they, they've been taught generation after generation after generation how wrong these things are. But the problem is, they, they say they've been taught through a God belief. And so once they've been taught by that God belief, that means it has to be true. If God said something, then it has to be true. You see what I'm saying? God said it's an abomination. So it has to be true. It's an abomination. But my thing is, just like you with the questions you was asking me, how do you know? That's the question everybody needs to ask themselves in everything you do. And, and, and cause this this the thing. If you read the, the biblical, the biblical narrative, the biblical text, God ain't God ain't say nothing about homosexuality. Can't nobody, can't nobody show me one scripture or verse where God said uh -huh. something about homosexuality. You know who said something about homosexuality? Moses, Moses. and Paul. Yeah. God ain't say nothing. It ain't, it right. ain't, it ain't, it nowhere behind it does it say that says the Lord. This is Moses. Oh, the Lord, my God commanded thee. This this is Moses' opinion. Just like it's do it's men's opinion now. Just like people act like Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed because it was homosexuality going on. No, it was uncleanliness of all kinds, sexual deprivation of all kinds. And, and here's the thing, if it was solely about sexual sin, then why didn't Lot die? Because as soon as he got out of Sodom and Gomorrah, he could be incest with his daughter. Thank you. So what, thank you. So what, what, what are we talking about? So if it was if it was stuff of a sexual nature. It was just a debaucherous city, period. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah, listen, when you when you look in the listen, New listen, Testament, listen. the homosexuality that it's talking about in the New Testament is clearly pederasty. It ain't it ain't talking about wrong folks, cuz it's talking right. about men molesting boys. Mm. Straight like that. They have a lot of that going on. Especially yeah. in them churches that was being established in some of them Greek cities. And they was like, oh, 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 no, sir. You ain't you ain't supposed to be doing that to them kids. Exactly. See what, see what I'm saying? So all I'm saying is. So I got a real right. quick one though. Like, Go ahead. Lot. You know, you know, you know, I'm brother Shabak, so I'll be thinking about stuff. <laughs> nah, you got Lot coming out of Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah with his family, right? That consisted of him, his wife, and his daughters, right? Right. So his wife looked back and get turned into a pillar of salt, right? Yeah. Right. And they keep moving. Why they act like the mama ain't never existed? Like she, like she was nothing. Ain't nobody mourning her. There wasn't nobody sad. Just, just oh, she turned to a pillow of salt. Let's roll. Let's move on. When he have tripping sex off sin. When tripping off sin. Let, let, let's let's move on. And then listen, because you know, daddy now, drunk, you get some of that, so, some of that, uh, some of that dangling from daddy. Now, 
Now, Lot was supposed to be a righteous man, right? Uh, the, the, Bible, the Bible says that Lot, Lot was righteous, right? He's a righteous man. Right? That, that's, yeah. why, that's why he got spurred, right? So check this out. What's this is he doing all that drinking? Oh, 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 no, no, forget the drinking. Forget the drinking. Check this out. This is what this righteous man did. So these men is outside this righteous man house saying that they want to rape these men that's in his house. This righteous man offers these men his virgin daughters. That's what the righteous man did, cuz. And not only that, not only that, so so forget forget the fact that he offered these men his virgin daughters to do with what they will. His words. Do when, you when, can do did with he offer that to they was that was that was them people they, his husband, her husband, they husband? No. No. Well, that would have been a, that been a sin. Okay. Huh. But 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 here are my virgin daughters. Do with them what you will. All right. I, he, wait, I, please. I hold I hold these strangers who I just let in my house in higher regard than I do my daughters. That's that's the righteous man, right? The so then man. this same righteous man whose Ooh. wife just got turned into a pillar of salt, she's dead, is drinking so heavily that he has sex with his own. Do not one daughter, but both daughters. Now, cuz, let's keep it a buck. When you get, cuz, when you get every uh, the, the first night he had sex with one daughter, then the next night he had sex with the other daughter. Facts. Now check it out. Now they say it's so they, they say they got them drunk, right? But like my man had to, like you had to be turned on by your daughters because. You drinking, my G. And when you're drinking, everybody, let's be clear, when you're drinking super, like if you're drinking a little bit, it may add to the festivities. But when right. you're drinking a lot, right. it takes away. Yeah. So you had to be attracted to your own daughters in order to even be able to get it up, my G. So you've been, you've been looking at your daughters. Who you just got through offering to a crowd of men to do with what they will, and then you did with them what you will. Your wife had just got turned into a pillar of salt, but this is what the Bible says is the righteous man. Right. Come on, man. <laughs> what we what we talking about, man? What is we talking about? So, like, so I'm just saying. Like and th and this is why I always ask people what what is what is Israel to an African? Nothing. Them ain't our people. But see, I I, I always laugh at this because because when I say when I bring up the fact that this bishop bishop uh I forget his first name last name Sprung says that Paul was uh. Uh, closeted uh, homosexual, self self deprecating homosexual, and when Tobias Springer says the thorn in Paul's side that God wouldn't take away was his same sex attraction to men, African men and women get get up in arms about this this Jew. They 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 get upset about this Jew. They rush to defend this Jew. And my thing is, y'all don't rush to defend Africans. Y'all don't rush to defend uh your brothers and sisters who are actually your kinsmen, but you want to rush in to defend. Paul when somebody questions his sexuality. And, and I just find that hilarious. When somebody says David and Jonathan were lovers because they kissed and got naked in front of each other, and David said this man's love was greater than that of a woman, 
which cuz, you know I love you like a brother. You more than my cousin, you my brother. But I've never described me and your relationship in reference to me and my wife relationship, ever, ever. So I, I, I just haven't. It, it, <laughs> Audio gone. Yeah, I push mute. I'll be looking at you like, what you say, girl? What you say? Come on, man. Come I, I, on, I man. Just, but so, so, so that that what what's Israel to an African man? Uh, and, and in my opinion, it's it's nothing, nothing. So you know, uh, Israel is a place where Africans went when they was being enslaved by Arabs during this decade, and they got turned away. That's what Israel is. But we got black people who want to defend Paul and. Peter and you know all of these different Jacob things. So, Joshua. But but again, you know, want to defend all these Roman guys. Oh, Come on, man. man. They they Come wasn't on. Roman. They wasn't Roman. Just their names was Roman. Listen, <laughs> I, I I just but again we but and that take me back to to my atheist brothers and sisters. Listen, I'm not telling y'all what to believe and what not to believe. All I'm telling y'all is you don't have to get moist whenever you hear somebody say they believe. If you don't believe, that's fine. That worked for you. If this sister or this brother say they believe, to each his own. Because at the end of the day, you can say whatever you want to say. You ain't changing nobody's mind. So right. you, you getting, getting hot in the drawers because somebody said they believe in a God ain't gonna mean a hill of beans to that person who believes. You ain't you ain't saying nothing to move them. You can say all the nice gotcha lines that you want to say if that person has personal belief in a deity or in a spiritual tradition, you ain't gonna change their mind. And you make yourself nope. look. Nobody like, stops believing in anything until they're until they're ready to. That's facts. That's facts. That's so stop being like a horny groupy girl when every time every time somebody say they believe in something, it's a bad look. To my Christian yeah, brother, to my, to my Christian brothers, I, I, I want to elaborate a little bit on that one. I, I you know, when 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 I first start, you know, listening to different ones, you know. That's, hey, man, shout out to the brother Satinetta, man. I mean, you got to get that man some props. You know what I'm saying? For all the stuff that he did. He's he, he responsible for uh, when people do wake up, like Ray Hagan is responsible for waking up a lot of people. Satinetta is where you go after you wake up, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? So you got to get a shout out to him. But the most part, you want to just be telling everybody, like, you want to be like, yeah, uh, uh, that ain't true, and this ain't right, and that ain't, you know what I'm saying? Because you done been fooled, and you like, you you been fooled, too. And I want you to, you know, when, right. you first start, when it first started happening, you want everybody to hear that. You know, exactly. oh, no, no, that ain't right. Exactly. You know, there ain't no such thing as Jesus. Ain't no such thing, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. But me, man, I didn't learn. You, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can say. Only thing you do, you, you can trigger a thought, make people think about stuff. But that's what happened with me. I just started thinking. You know what I'm saying? Man, that don't sound right. Man, I do look kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? Trying to defend how somebody walking on water and I ain't got no explanation for that. And I'm trying to defend it. So I can understand it when you first get into the knowledge of, of, of certain things like that. But I cannot understand somebody who's already 
you know, somebody who been an atheist for a, a long time and you still trying to do that. You know, like the brother William Jones, shout out to him. You, he, 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 he just like us, cause we heard people talking that and we be quiet. We let them go ahead and rock. Because it don't matter either way it go. You, you can believe whatever you want to believe. It ain't going to matter. And we let them rock. Only time we get involved is when they pull us in. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. Or if it's exactly. too ridiculous. And then you be like, man, come on, come on. And then you might ask them a question to make them think about it. You know what I'm saying? You're like, what? So you you telling me, blah, 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 you know. And so, well, how, how did, how did, uh, what process did Jesus use to make that water into wine? Is it magic? No, ain't no magic. What is it then? And then uh, there's uh, the power of God. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, 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 it's funny because I, I remember having a conversation with Vocab <laughs> and he was trying to to make say Vocab to make yeah, he, he, he okay. his, his thing was the, the Christian God is better than the, the Kemet God. And, I, and and of course, I know, you know, to some people it was like, oh, that, that that burned me. But, you know, that didn't mean nothing to me because... <laughs> no, it's funny. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay. But, uh, but he said... God you can't spoke. prove neither one of them. Right, God spoke and it was. And so I'm explaining that. So when when these when the ancient people of chemists said that a god masturbated to create the universe, it's because they knew when a man put his seed inside of a woman, life came forth. And it was like, ugh, that's that's gross. But the thing, and, and that that goes to the uncomfortableness that religious people have with sex. I remember Jerome, right. I remember my brother Jerome Green said masturbation was self fornication. Bro, I ain't never, I ain't never laughed so hard in my life. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't that I was laughing at the brother. It was just that self fornication. Is that, is that a, uh, is that a term in the Bible? I, I, I don't I don't know I don't know what kind of term it like what whether you know it just it blew me away because there is this uncomfortableness with sex and sexual expression and you know me because I like I'm probably overly sexual so is especially in, in in my expression thereof and so I just when I see people who are uncomfortable <laughs> with 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 sex, keep rocking. Hold on one second. Just keep rocking though. I can hear yeah. you. Yeah, go ahead. And and, and so I, I just I think that that's that's sad. Like I know I know I know women right now. They divorced. They haven't remarried, and it's been more than a decade. And they have not enjoyed the touch of a man based on religious beliefs. And they miserable. They, they snappy. <laughs> and, they, and they crabby. And, and it's all based on this, I can't be with a man unless I'm married to him based on religious beliefs is like you could be responsible sexually without taking vows to a person if you're an adult if you're a responsible adult and we're talking about women in their 50s and 60s but no nah, they can't they can't do it i know i know another woman who went almost a decade Met a brother, they courted, did all these things. Uh, of course, no sexual, uh, uh, nothing sec of a sexual nature, but they got married. And she ended up confessing that 
the sex was unsatisfying. So what did you tell this sister? Because her sex life is horrible. The brother is, let's say, inadequate and refuses to do other things to, uh, to amplify the experience. Also, the, the decision not to do these things are also based on religious beliefs because men don't do certain things with their mouth on a woman based on his religious beliefs. And so this woman who got divorced from her husband, I think it was seven or eight years before she started courting, quote unquote, another man. They dating, but no sexual intercourse, no sexual interaction. They get married and then she finds out that the sex is utterly unsatisfying because the brother refuses to do anything besides penetrator and the penetration is lacking. So now she is unfulfilled sexually and the brother refuses to do other things. All of this based on religious beliefs. Sexual repression is a problem in religion. And it's, it's, it's nuts to me that as, a, as adults, we still deal with this shit in 2022. Like you can't yeah, be sexually free like, and none. And, and, and no, and nobody's saying be a whore. <laughs> nobody's saying be a slut. I'm saying you can be sexually responsible without marrying somebody. Because hey, like I, like I tell your, your your sister cousin all the time, if she decides to leave me the day or tomorrow, the kid is gonna do what he do when it comes to sex. Like I'm not. And I and I'm not married. So, I'm, I'm not married. So, so you like Biggie? When it comes to sex, I'm similar to the thriller <laughs> in Manila. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. I'm just trying. Like, all I'm saying is that I I don't know what to tell you because I ain't going without it. And I ain't marrying no damn body. If I if I ain't married to her, I'm not marrying nobody else. Period. So unless mm -hmm. she wants married again. So that's that's all it is to it. But sex is going to be had. And I, I plan on being like Burger King and having it my way with a Horgus boy of females who are willing participants in, in, in my sexcapades. Judge me all you want to, but that's what it's gonna be. Now I will be responsible. I, I you know, I will buy magnums in bulk, but I ain't going without. I ain't even gonna pretend to. But I think that that's a problem because now the sister is in a situation where her sex life is unsatisfying. She waited all that time to have sex with this man. And this man don't even, he has no, no, uh, no initiative whatsoever to satisfy her. He say, he say, the young, far as he concerned, the only, only, only position there is is missionary. And as a man, he don't put his mouth on a woman in that way. Wow. So again, this woman in her in her mid forties and is unfulfilled sexually because her religion said you divorced, you can't have sex till you get married. She waited till she got married, and because she waited till she got married, she didn't test, <clears throat> to sample what she was getting herself into. Again, my man is inadequate. 
no offense, but he was inadequate. And he don't want to do the subsequent actions that would at least make it somewhat satisfying. So she's stuck. And, and, and she feel like, I just got to put up with this because this ain't, this ain't no reason for me to get a divorce. And, and one, one, would, one would say, okay, sis, it probably ain't. So you just going to be unsatisfied to death do you point. We know in reality how it go. Where one won't, one will. And and how long is gonna be? And I'm not wishing this on her. And I've told her this, so when she hear this show, it won't be no surprise. Sooner or later, she gonna break. Hmm. She gonna break. It's only natural. Break. It's only natural. So you know, but you know, I, I, I obviously I wish them the best, but just just understanding that this is something that that happens within the confines of religion, and so I I I wanted to hit you up about these things because because I feel like everybody jumps through hoops to continue to defend and stay in their current place that they want to stay in. And it don't make no difference if they're a believer or a non-believer. We, we tend to get irrationally attached to whatever it is we've attached ourselves to. And, and you know, we, we gave plenty of, uh, of examples of that being the case, but and, and it becomes an emotional attachment. If if you ever seen uh, my brother Q when he engaged with a believer, he get turned up. He get turned up, and it like him and Cap, him and Cap. Now Cap don't necessarily be turned up, but Q be on one, and and then and that in turn get Cap on one, and it be like this gonna go bad. But right. the emotions, emotions run yeah, high. Brother, our brother Chris, high. too. <laughs> yeah, Chris, 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 another one that's emotionally uh, attached. And it, 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 it just, it, it breeds a, 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 bad, a bad exchange. And, and again, it's, it's cool to get, to get heated and to get turned up, but when we so emotionally attached to a particular position and we taking it as so personal, and that's how it is. With, you know, I almost got divorced cause, because I no longer believed in Jesus. Like, we didn't been through bipolar episodes when we didn't know I had bipolar disorder. Like, you know, we didn't been through infidelity, me being young and dumb and, and, and not being faithful. And we, we got through all of that. But when I wasn't a Christian no more, like that was, it, it, it was, I didn't think we was going to make it. And I couldn't, I couldn't understand it because I'm like, I ain't cheating. I bring home the, the bread. I'm here with the kid. Like, what's the big deal? But because it's, part and parcel to who she is as a person and it ain't no it ain't no separating it except for when they want to it ain't no <laughs> separating it. but and it's like because you know this good Christians for the most part and, I, and, and you got some who who, who you know who, who will stand tried and true but for the most part christians will bend the rules on their tradition no doubt like, like how many times i didn't told you a person to sit up here and argue with me about me not believing <clears throat> and to turn around and have five six women coming out their house 
knowing they married. Or a person uh, uh, talk to me about God and my lack of belief and then turn around and, and five minutes later be having a conversation about selling their food stamps. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's right. like, wait a minute now. So, so it's, it, it, everything is on the table as long as you believe. It's just, I'm, I'm just so bad because I don't believe. Because I can do all them things you're doing, but I'm good as long as I believe. Oh, you I'm believe? Just, I'm just bad because I don't believe. But as long as you believe, you are right. That, that's the message I be getting. You, you can do everything that the religion requires. But the second you don't believe that God is the reason, then now you messed up. Like you said, you taking care of all of the responsibility. And that's what religion teaches you. It teaches you responsibility, teaches you how to care for people, it teaches you how to love, and all of those things. But we can do that without religion, cuz. And we can do that without believing in the God. But it has, to them, it don't have no, no weight when you're doing it without a God. You see what I'm saying? You're doing all the response, cuz. And I'll say this on the air. As one of his closest people that is in his, in his life since we've been adolescent. This is one of the best times that he's ever been. This is the best version of DMG bubble that you're gonna get. <laughs> Period. When he was believing, when he was trying to be saved, reading the Bible, all of that stuff. He was never better than what he is now. He wasn't the type of faithful man. He wasn't the type of man that, that, that was really trying to uh, make sure his family is taken care of. It was about him. It was about right. him and, and what he wanted and whatever pleasures he can partake into. But now the first thing he look at, my wife, my kids, my family. But you know what? I had to cut out a middleman. I don't need no God of Jesus to do those things. You see what I'm saying? What 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 do the great Amari Amari Seneferu say? You African have the power to intercede on behalf of yourself. If I don't take nothing else from my man, I'm gonna always take that. And and, and, that, and that's what it comes down to, man. Like, and, but but nobody somehow that's that's because of God. Everything you just said about me, somehow that's because of God. Cause without no proof, though, without 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 no no proof whatsoever, somehow that's about God. But, you know, but yeah, cuz, man, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up, man. I appreciate you jumping on, chopping it up with the kid. It's been, uh, man, it's been, been a good conversation. It's been well overdue. We, you know, we got to do it again. And, you know, just like, we're, you know, prior times, cuz, we was more in, involved in the stuff that we wanted to be involved in and, uh, we wasn't thinking about our family. Now we think more about our families, cuz. And you know, I think I think a lot of it got to do with uh maturity. You know what I'm saying? And we're a lot older and uh we didn't did a lot of stuff. We ain't gotta do all that stuff again. You know what I'm saying? Been there exactly. done that type of mentality, you know. Sure. You know, get I get more fulfilling and, and satisfaction knowing that I take care of my family. You know Real what I'm talk. saying? My family depend on me, and then I, I try to I try to come forth. I try to provide. Real talk, you know. Real talk. Like at, at this point, cause we we middle aged men, we didn't we didn't did, no, no. We didn't, even though we we look better than we did when we was in our, you know. 
We look better than we look better than 20 years. Remember, ago, years at ago. 25, 26 years old, which we would have been 20 years ago. Right. We didn't, we're happy to even make it that far with the type of stuff and the people Sack. that was dying Sack. around us, getting killed, all kind of stuff. You know, just, 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 hey. you know, no, no, uh, no, no. might have been coming back to us, all kind of stuff. We didn't know if we was going to make it. Notice. You just hit the nail on the head because you said we was happy to make it to 24 and 25. Remember, my our grandmother used to call me every year on my birthday and say, I thought you weren't going to make it past. I thought you weren't going to make it to 25. Because when I, I told her that <laughs> at like 15 years old, and I was dead serious because I really believed the environment I was in, the things that I could end up getting off into, yeah. it was conducive for me not making it to 25 years old. When your brother died, I really was like, yeah, ain't, if, if he if he ain't make it, oh, ain't, ain't no way I'm gonna make it. And so I, I really turned up about that particular thing, not even understanding me being with my wife, marrying her at so young an age, and how how those things start affecting the decisions I was making. Same thing with you, having your son, getting married. And we we shifted our behavior, even if it was slightly. And next thing you know, 45, 46 years old, <laughs> and it's like, wait a minute, hey. wait a minute. And I remember, man, every year she had called me and I could still hear her voice. Like, I thought you wasn't going to make it to live past 25. And I'd be like, I know, mom. But, hey, and she'd be like, hey, like she said every year, I'm glad you did. So, right. you know, but, but yeah, man, we, we still here. And in the past, we would thank God, right? But I'm gonna, take, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take this opportunity to thank you because you were a big part of while I'm still here, getting me out of them clubs when I was starting fights with brothers for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Had to literally pick this nigga up in the air. Yes, sir. Carry him out. Yes, sir. Like, like what? It, 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 it'll, it'll be the funniest thing because you will walk up out of nowhere, man. Get out my look cousin face and they looking at you like this yo look cuz but you know <laughs> so but yeah hey we still here cuz and as long as we here man we gonna rock out so with that being oh, said yeah. this been a, a ride along with your brother DMG featuring brother Shabaka and we gonna be black at y'all again man we appreciate y'all riding with me no doubt and, and knowledge is infinite Therefore, evolution is inevitable. And misinformation is the enemy of knowledge. We out. Peace. That's peace.